Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. Alright, so today I'm answering some nipple questions. First question. This is a sweet one. It's from a boyfriend about his girlfriend. Uh, my girlfriend is on her period, but is having a clear liquid leaking from her boobs. Should we worry about pregnancy? What should we do? So clear discharge from the nipple can actually be a totally normal thing. In fact, even when you're not on your period, you can sometimes squeeze out some clear fluid from your breasts and it's absolutely normal. So what I would say to you is there's really nothing to worry about unless she's having pain or redness or any other funny discharge like blood or pus. Nothing to worry about. Clear discharge is absolutely normal. All right, second question. I've been having white nipple discharge for a few weeks now. I just started a new birth control. Is this normal? So yes, it can be. Um, hormones in our bodies can drive our nipples to produce fluid. And specifically when you start a new birth control, it's possible that you experience some nipple discharge. I would say if it continues, it's worth talking to your doctor about, but for the time being, it would be absolutely normal. One other thing to know is that nipple discharge can also come from smoking marijuana. So males, females, all genders can get nipple discharge when they smoke a lot of weed. And it's called galactorrhea. It is a kind of funny little byproduct from smoking a lot of weed, just so you know. All right, next question. One of my nipples has been hurting a lot recently. It's a little red. Is this cancer? Okay. So sometimes, whether you're male or female, sometimes the ducts in the developing breast tissue can kind of get clogged uh, or plugged up, and that can cause redness or tenderness, and sometimes maybe a little like a yellow or a pus-like discharge. What I would recommend first is try applying some warm packs. So either a, a heat pad or a warm bottle of water. Apply that to the breast uh, for like 10 to 15 minutes a couple times a day and see if that can help sort of open up those ducts and let the fluid drain normally. If things get worse or if you start to notice discharge or increasing redness of the breast, then you should see a doctor and they'll probably give you an antibiotic. One other thing it could be is a yeast infection, although that's pretty abnormal for um, younger people, but certainly possible. So if it gets worse, it's worth talking to a doctor about. Question number four. I'm a male and I have a lump under my left nipple that is about the size of a cherry. It was at first the size of a pea, but now it's growing. I'm worried that it might be serious. Okay, so this is not something that is really talked about a whole lot when it comes to male puberty, but a significant portion of males actually do develop small breasts or breast tissue. It's called gynecomastia, and it can either feel like a small nodule or mass of tissue underneath the nipple, or it can even look like bigger breasts. This is a normal part of puberty. It usually lasts for about a year or so and goes away with time. Um, sometimes extra weight can cause that extra tissue to hang around longer. So sometimes losing a little weight can help that breast tissue go away. But just so you know, absolutely normal. Nothing really to worry about unless it's red or you have some funny discharge from your nipple. It's worth talking to a doctor. All right. Last question. Is it normal for a 17 year old boy to have a tender nipple? So along those similar lines of gynecomastia, um, breast tissue when it's developing can be tender in all genders. So it is quite possible for 
a male who's going through puberty to have tender breasts. Again, if it's accompanied with redness or discharge, that'd be more concerning for an infection, but otherwise it's pretty normal. All genders get it and it should get better with time. Those are some of your nipple questions. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.